Hello and welcome to the fifth and final section in which we will be looking into the user interface design. First we will compare some existing GUIs. Then we will look deeper into user interface design. After that we have a brief look about displaying Google and Qt5 maps. And we also will have a look into how to create GUIs for smartphones and mobile applications. And in the last and final video we will rock the world using PyQt5. In this first video we will be looking at existing GUIs. Graphical user interfaces are really meant to help the end user to better interact with the program. A badly designed GUI gets actually into the way of the user and hurts more than it does any good. We don't want that. We want to design our GUIs so they are useful, practical, easy to use and make sense. One example of a badly designed GUI is when you have multiple levels of menu items and the user has to click deeply several levels deep to finally get to the functionality they should be able to invoke with the push of the first button. So that, that hurts. And another one which I've seen, I'm not going to mention the name of the company, but it's a world famous um, application. You have to click through several levels and at some point you have to right click an empty screen which brings up a context dialog and then you can type in your financial information to create your accounting information. So that's a real world application. If you are not on the right screen, if you don't right click the empty widget, you, you'll never get to that place where you can finally enter your financial transaction. So I've watched many people not finding it and um, getting frustrated. And this is about money. It's financial. It's a large financial application. So we don't want to do that. Our design in comparison using multiple levels of tab widgets and grouping related functionality into those tabs, in my opinion, is a good design. So we have our tabs and everything, even though this is just an example program, everything on each tab is really related. Um, well, for example, the three items, we don't know what they are, but they symbolize or abstract something. And the calendar tab has a calendar and our signals and so it's very simple, but animation is about animation, CSS styling is about that and so on. So personally, I feel that having several tabs until we run out and then with PyQt5, it's very easy to nest tabs. So I think this is a good design. It's definitely much better than that click me thing here where everything says click me, the buttons are misaligned, the colors are bright red, but then the buttons are bright red as well. This is really hard to see, hard for the eye, and we don't know what click me means. So I'm exaggerating here a little bit with a bad design but believe me and i'm sure you have experienced that yourself there are some bad graphical user gui interfaces out there and it's up to us to 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 create something nice and useful so i would say that our design looks much better it's much more useful than the click me thing in this video we looked at existing guis and compared them 